The original Blade is a fun movie, but it feels very much like a product of the 90s. In many ways, this movie does as well, but also has a very clear Guillermo del Toro feel. This is easily the first Marvel movie where you can clearly see a director's touch, and the movie is all the better for it. The original movie was pretty much just an action movie, while this one is much more action horror movie, which is a minor genre switch that gives this film a much more distinctive feel over its predecessor. This time around, Blade, Wesley Snipes, finds out that a new breed of vampires have mutated creating Reapers, a super vampire immune to almost every vulnerability their counterpart has. Add to it, the Reapers can feed on humans and vampires. Since this new breed must feed much more often and are much more powerful, Blade finds himself having to ally with the creatures he once hunted. The team of vampires he works with is known as the Blood Pack, and they're the best warriors the vampires have to offer. They were specifically assembled with the goal of hunting and killing Blade himself. Together, this uneasy alliance must find a way to defeat their common foe. There are problems Problems. The overuse of CGI is pretty distracting. Also, the beginning of the movie is an extended sequence that involves the rescue of Whistler, who died in the original movie. It makes no sense. The idea is that Whistler was turned into a vampire, so survived shooting himself with Blade's gun. However, does Blade carry a lot of guns that aren't designed to kill vampires? I thought that was literally the point of his weaponry. However, this does give us an opportunity to get introduced to a new character, Scud, Norman Reedus. He takes Whistler's role in Blade's operation, but is younger, using more high-tech options, and also being far more confident than he has any right to be. Reedus isn't the cast highlight, though. That honor goes to Ron Perlman. He plays the most anti-Blade member of the Blood Pack and isn't afraid to show it. Perlman is clearly having fun playing this character as despicable as possible. Me and the uh, gang were wondering... Who was that? Can you blush? Blade 2 has some serious issues, but it's probably the best comic book movie of its time. Its only real competition would be the original Superman and 1989's Batman, both of which are very good but have problems that hold them back. And I'll take the unlikely resurrection of Whistler over Superman's inespicable ability to reverse time with no consequences. I can't believe that just fucking happened! Blade 2 is a great movie and well worth the watch. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page.